are some downsides to being beautiful. The men who are attracted to you are usually men who are attracted to you for all the wrong reasons, and they're usually the assholes, frankly. Um, <laughs> When I would see babies, it was sort of like, eh. um, I, I had very little response to, to children. You said you weren't sure you would love a baby as much as a dog. I was certain of that. She's your passion. <laughs> but then she arrives. Then she arrived. And I mean, you know, and then, and then you just cry for the next 30 years. <laughs> uh, she was not an easy baby. I was going to say, you called her a tiny terrorist. <laughs> Jeez, I didn't remember that. Well, she was. A half-hour show is the most humane schedule, but if you're the lead in a half-hour show, it's very intense. And just learning the lines, Murphy Brown had a longer script because we played it so fast um, that other scripts were sort of 15 pages shorter than ours, so you had a lot of dialogue And you were in learn. every scene. And I was in every scene for nine years, and then in the 10th, they gave me two scenes off. In the years after Murphy, I, I have young women coming up to me. Now they're not so young, but, and they say, Murphy was so important to me growing up, and my mother and I always watched Murphy together, and during the last year of Murphy, Murphy had breast cancer, which was a beautifully written year, um, very moving and, and still funny somehow. And the, the young women who came up to me who had lost their mothers to breast cancer with tears in their eyes. And it was, I mean, it was just, it was very powerful. I wonder whether sense of humor has been a constant in your life, especially in uh, the most difficult moments. My father and I used to spend time, we would sit in his study and we would look at the New Yorker together. And he would say, now, why is that cartoon funny? And I would say, well because the brick is about to fall on the guy in the... And uh, so humor was always um, very important in our household. 